All right, so the first trend that we're going to get into that I predict is going to be popping next year are the rise of the Nike Blazers. And let's run this back to 2019 Nike SB Dunks. And I can really see like a lot of the people who are wearing Nike Dunks right now to switch over to Blazers because right now it's very oversaturated and people always want to wear stuff that's different or they want to get onto the next trend before everyone else gets onto it. So I can see a lot of people investing in Nike Blazers and wearing them a lot more as Nike Dunks start to decline in popularity. And I'm pretty sure it's going to happen next year. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Travis Scott Nike Blazers already being in the works. I feel like a lot of people who wear Nike SBs wear because of the Travis Scott collab. Even though Rocky and Ian were wearing that way before him, but that's just a whole other story for another video. But yeah, 2021, everyone's gonna be wearing Nike Blazers. I'm calling it now. All right, so the next trend that I predict is gonna pop off are the basic vintage Gap logo hoodies and sweatshirts and why do i think that's gonna pop off well because kanye west has a deal with them and i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken that the first collection is gonna release next year and and it's gonna sell out really really fast and a bunch of people are gonna be a bunch of people who want pieces from the collection are gonna get it so what they're gonna do is they're gonna flock toward alternatives they're gonna start wearing vintage gab logo and basic gap logo hoodies and sweatshirts and this always happens with a very hyped product that has a very low demand like when um kanye was dropped the original yeezy 350s and everyone was trying to get them but there was such a low quantity available and many of those people who were unable to get a pair they settled for a pair of ultra boosts because ultra boosts are kind of similar to the 350s in addition i remember back then a lot of people were spray painting the black ultra boost and at that time there wasn't an all black pair to order to like get close to the look of the pirate black easy 350s i was one of those people don't judge me all right so the next big trend that's gonna pop off is well this is like a an amalgamation of trends that i'm gonna discuss okay so rick owens right now is gonna get really popular well rick owens is already well known and established popular blah 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 but the next trend that i predict to happen is that Chrome Hearts jeans and apparel are going to get way less popular. And why do you, I think that? Because it's already burnt out by the hype beast and people are already looking for alternatives already. I know what I noticed recently is a lot of um, celebrities, influencers who were previously wearing Chrome Hearts, they're starting to move toward. And when I, when I talk about Chrome Hearts, I'm talking about the apparel and I'm talking about the jeans mostly. Mostly the jeans because Chrome Hearts obviously makes other stuff they make furniture and they make all a bunch of like crazy stuff but i'm talking about to the hype beast and the the people who are like who hop on the bandwagon and just wear the jeans just because it's popping they're gonna start wearing a lot of rick owens pants and clothing people are gonna start wearing rick owens pants a lot more and i've already seen it a lot with a lot of celebrities and um influencers they move toward rick owens and plus another influential figure in fashion playboy cardi He's been wearing Rick Owens heavy, and he's only going to get even more popular once a whole lot of red drops. And when a lot of mainstream listeners start finding Playboy Cardi's music, and they start following him on Instagram, they start seeing him wear these full Rick Owens outfits. Bruh, hell people are going to hop on Rick Owens. Like, even look at Rich the Kid right now. Rich the Kid was wearing Chrome Hearts like, like he was getting paid to wear a Chrome Hearts. And now, if you look on his Instagram, he's wearing Rick Owens because he he knows that's going to be the next thing. Or maybe he just sees Cardi wearing it and he wants to hop on it. Who knows? But it is what it is. Another thing I actually predict is that Evisu jeans are going to get really popular too, which is, I've seen it starting to rise up. People, as I said before in our previous video, people gravitate toward like logos and shit. And a lot of people are like, they see that Chrome Hearts is getting oversaturated, right? So they want like another pants brand that other people aren't wearing, but not everyone's going to go, not everybody's going to flock to Rick Owens, but I can see them going to a Visu jeans because it has such an iconic pants logo that people can easily flex and it's very distinguished. So that's why I think people are going to like flock toward a Visu jeans. And plus, if I'm not mistaken, I think a Visu already got the Travis Scott collab. And I know I'm talking about Travis Scott a lot. It's because everything this man touches increases in value right now. So 
It is what it is. It's going to be like that for a while. Okay, so those are the trends that I think are going to pop off in 2021. If you want me to make a part two and come up with some more trends, like, follow, comment, do all that. And down below, like, tell me what you think is going to pop off. Tell me if you agree with any of these predictions that I've made. And like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Dory Fire. Just all the links are down below where you want to find me. I'm out.